hello friends in my this video i am going to discuss about one property of autocorrelation okay and that is if you take the autocorrelation of a periodic signal then in that case the periodicity of the autocorrelation signal will be same as our original periodic signal so for that i have written one simple matlab code here clc clear all close all if you want you can write if you want you can ignore if you want you can write warning off also okay then t equal to 0 colon 1 colon 100 i have defined the time uh, zone and then uh, time sample zone and then x equal to sine 2 into pi into 0 0.05 into t sine 2 pi f t simple sine formula i have applied and i am storing in x variable then subplot 2 comma 1 comma 1 plot t comma x so i am basically plotting my signal and giving grid on so that i can easily measure the uh, some uh, values if it is required then i am calculating cross correlation using x sorry auto correlation of that signal using x coder so m equal to x square x comma x okay x comma x is used same signal so i am making correlation of that signal with that itself so that this is called auto correlation and then I have stored my t that is time sample region in uh, t1 variable and t2 equal to minus of flip error of t and n1 equal to mean of uh, t1 plus mean of t2 n2 equal to max of t1 plus max of t2 and n equal to n1 colon 1 colon n2 this particular part is simply defines the uh, time sample region for the our uh, autocorrelation signal uh, that is our m variable okay this part already i have discussed in my previous video where i have discussed the autocorrelation you can check the description link i will provide okay uh, you can check in the description okay so basically now i want to plot my autocorrelated signal that is m so that uh, subplot 2 comma 1 comma 2 plot n comma m and grid on okay so now let me run this control a then evaluate selection all right c this is our original input signal and this is our autocorrelation result forget about the amplitude part just consider the zero crossing region so here it is crossing at 50 and like this it will go and again here 70 and then same period will repeat right so basically for our this signal the time period if we calculate in this way it is coming as 20 right now if you consider our autocorrelated signal uh, consider any point suppose let me take this particular point and this is coming as um sorry sorry okay it is not coming in the uh, grid on so better to use go to tools and take data cursor that is the best way so basically here let me put my data cursor and this is giving as my y coordinate no need to think about that uh, you can make some more accuracy and make y equal to 0 okay so basically for the time being just for rough uh, approximation let us take x equal to 15 and our see this signal goes and again it goes like this and here again it starts going up so here what is this point this point is 35 okay so 35 minus 15 is how much 20 see here also uh, the period will repeat after 20 and here also in our original signal also we got that the periodicity is uh, 20 right that is 70 minus 50 is 20 like here 35 minus 15 we got 20 all right so basically uh, from this particular code we got a very very important conclusion that if we have one periodic signal and if we perform the autocorrelation then the autocorrelated signal will have same periodicity right okay this uh, property is going to help us in uh, the uh, modeling of communication system okay because uh, in the transmitter section after transmission what may happen that in the channel noise may corrupt our original signal so to regenerate that this property is going to be very helpful which i am going to show you in my next video okay so this is all for my this video thank you for watching and the whole code i am going to give in the description of my this video if you want you can implement that in matlab try to understand it try to visualize it if you do it by yourself once then you will understand it more clearly and the concept will be there in your mind for a longer time thank you